It looks almost like beef stew. We're gonna take these ingredients and we're gonna put them in the slow cooker and we're gonna let it sit there for eight hours and then we're gonna have an amazing meal. Pretty basic, right? So what we have here is some celery, some red potatoes, some onion, carrots, your roast, and there are different kinds of roast. We'll talk about that. We have beef broth, some thyme, which you can get either ground or fresh, and they have a little bit of butter. Last but not least, slow cooker. This is slow cooker powder. You just throw it in there and boom, it's got all the herbs and spices and everything you need. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting all the other little ingredients out and mixing them in your little fancy bowls and all that. You can just use this. Ah, remember, everything we do here is easy, folks. Easy. Let's keep it simple, right? Like I've always been told, keep it simple, stupid. First thing we're going to do is wash our potatoes. Now, these are red potatoes, and they don't look red. That's because they are dirty, so we need to go ahead and wash those. So, I always say start with a clean kitchen, clean sink, clean work area, and it makes things much easier. All right, so you see our potatoes are washed, so they look red now, right? So, all we're going to do is take these potatoes, and we're going to quarter them and put them in here, because this is basically going to be our side, right? The potatoes, the celery, and the carrots, and the onions are, are our sides. So we're not going to like add another side dish to this after we're done. This is just, uh, you know, all one meal built into one. So we're just going to quarter these up and uh, go ahead and put them in the slow cooker. We're going to chop one stalk of celery, put it in the slow cooker, half of the bag of baby carrots, and we're going to chop the whole onion and put it in the slow cooker. Now, I did things a little out of order here. I've already put the carrots in the uh, slow cooker. Now, I washed those first. And you would make sure you wash your potatoes, make sure you wash your celery and your onion, and chop it all up, and uh, either put it in the slow cooker already, or you can just set it to the side and work on your meat. It really doesn't matter which order you put it in the slow cooker, because once it's in there, it simmers and it all mixes together anyways. So it doesn't matter if you put the meat on top of the vegetables or vegetables in first. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and chop these vegetables or wash them, chop them, and then put them in the slow cooker. Okay. Now we are going to work on the roast. Now it's pretty simple. All we have to do is rinse the roast. If there were a lot of fatty pieces around it, then we would trim those fat pieces. But this roast doesn't have a lot of fat pieces on the outside. It just has the fat in the marbling, which is what we want. So our roast is nice and washed. All we have to do now is put it in the slow cooker, put some broth in there, a little bit of butter or whatever you want, butter substitute, a little sprinkle of thyme and slow cooker pot roast seasoning and then we're going to put the top on it and let it go low and slow for eight hours clean up your counters and wash your dishes and put away any leftover ingredients and all that good stuff that way you're not wasting any time you can get back to drinking your beer or whatever it was you were doing before you started cooking so I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away, and then we'll talk a little bit about the roasts. Uh, you know, a lot of people use the chuck roast, or they'll use a brisket. This roast here is actually a round roast. It's specifically a bottom round roast, also known as a rump roast. Yes, it is a rump roast, folks. So you can use whatever roast you want. Uh, it really, a roast can just be any large cut of meat, uh, and you just, you know, it's more of a cooking method. Uh, when we are talking about making a, uh, a pot roast. So this one is a uh, bottom round, but uh, there are others. The chuck and brisket roasts are a little bit more expensive. So I find that the bottom round or rump roast is the perfect meat for a budget. Okay, folks. Boom. Check that out. It has been eight hours and that is looking amazing. Look at that reduction. Everything has reduced. Everything is broken down. And you know how you know if this is really done, you just put a fork in it and it just drops down. Wow. Look at that. There's not much work. And look at that. Just break apart. Not anything you have to do. You just kind of pull it. Look at that. Look how it just falls apart there. Uh-huh. And you know it's done. Now, the key thing is you, you kind of want to get all this in the juice, so you just kind of want to break it down, you know? You kind of want to break it down anyway. 
and just get it all in the juice. And that way you can soak it up and, you know, get some moisture back into that meat. So I'm going to pull this apart, get it in here, and then uh, we're going to let it sit for another 10 minutes. And then we're going to do some crazy stuff with it after that. Okay, so 10 minutes later. Ooh, look at that. That is great. Just look at the moisture back in the meat, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make some sandwiches. And I'm going to go ahead and get the sandwiches ready. What we have is some French bread, Walmart, $1, keeping it on the cheap, right? We're going to take the French bread and make a sandwich, and we're going to make a French dip with the au jus in the bowl. So let's get to that right now. Now, if you're like me, you like a nice hearty portion of meat on your uh, sandwich. So, and you know, make sure you get it all on there and you get a nice condiment of your choice. I prefer mayonnaise. And then we're going to take this here sandwich and we're going to dip it in our au jus. And we're going to try not to burn ourselves, but we're just going to go ahead. Mmm. That, folks, is an amazing sandwich. Let me tell you. It's amazing. I do have some Munster cheese here. I was going to put Munster cheese on the sandwich, but I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. But that's what we have. And you can take the rest of this and you can take your vegetables and all that and you can just plate it how you want and just eat it as a meal together with the vegetables and the meat and all the sauce and everything together. You can just eat it that way or you can make sandwiches or you can make sandwiches tomorrow. You can make gravy and, and make something else for dinner tomorrow with the leftovers. But it's so good, folks. It's so good. But I mean, hey, we have a really cheap meal. And, of course, we're using paper plates because that's what we do. If you have any questions about this meal or anything else, just make sure you post it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.